It's a free space. Was that Koopa? No. <laughs> And now for our feature presentation. you my fourth game of Jeopardy for the Super Nintendo in which so far I've picked up $50,801 in cash and I would definitely like to add on to that total and I'm being joined by Hunter, Jay, and Nick once again. Jeopardy round, here we go. Categories are sports stadiums, automobiles, the 1950s, colorful category, seven wonders, and finally, books. There we go. There's our categories. I'll start with sports stadiums for 100. The answer is the house that Ruth built. What is Yankee uh, Stadium? Uh, sports stadiums for 200. The answer is... Boston's Green Monster is in this stadium. One is Fenway Park. Uh, sports stadiums for 300. The answer is... Major League Baseball's first dome stadium is in this city. What is, uh, Houston? Better have gotten that one. Sports stadiums for 400. The answer is... The Chicago Cubs can now go out and play at night here. What is Wrigley Field? Sports stadiums for 500, please. The answer is... An Ann Arbor school that has the largest U.S. college stadium. What is the University of Michigan? All right, and I ran through that category. Let's go to automobiles for 100. The answer is... Though thought of as an early car, it was built by the Stanley Twins Company until 1924. What is the Stanley Steamer? Yep. Automobiles for 200. The answer is... Yep, he and Clark Gable bought the only two SSJ Deussenbergs sold. Rob? He doesn't know. So he's at minus 200 already. Let's see if Sue knows this one. Nope, she doesn't know either. Well, I don't know, so I'm going to stay where I'm at. Gary Cooper. 
Gary Cooper. I'll have um, automobiles for 300. The answer is. In 1908, the Model K of this luxury car was the first to use standard parts. What is uh, it's either Jaguar or Mercedes? You know what? I'm gonna say what is Mercedes or is it Cadillac? I'm gonna change my answer again from what is Cadillac? Yay! I'm glad I did. Automobiles 400. The answer is. In 1932, it was the first company to sell a low-priced car with a V8 engine. <laughs> Does Rob know this any better than I do? No. And already Rob is making a pika of himself. Does Sue know this? Ford. Oh, I should have known. I drive a Ford. So Sue has a little bit of some money now. 1950s for 100. The answer is. A reproduction of this famous ship sailed from Plymouth, England to Massachusetts in 1957. What is the Mayflower? Yes. I'll have uh, 1950s for 200. The answer is. Testifying before a Senate committee in 1957, Teamster President Dave Beck invoked this some 80 times. Suit. The Fifth Amendment. That's correct. Okay. Colorful category for 100. The answer is. The three common colors in common to the flag of the U.S. and Chile are red, white, and this. What is blue? Colorful category for 200. The answer is... Pachyderm seen by potted people. What are pink elephants? What is a pink elephant? I'll take a colorful category for 300. The answer or 400, is. I guess. Pirate Edward teaches colorful nom de plunder. What is Blackbeard? And I meant to pick the $300 clue, so I'll pick that in just a little bit. Now let me have the $300 clue. The answer is. Figuratively speaking, these are looked through to see the world in a wonderful light. What are rose-colored glasses? Five, uh, 500. Uh, call for category 500. The answer is... It can be filled with card prices or college test answers. What is a blue book? Automobiles for 500. The answer is. To conserve gas and rubber, this was the speed limit for much of World War II. What is 35 miles per hour? Correct. $4,000 now. The 1950s, 300. Daily double. I have a big lead right now. I have $4,000. How much do I want to put at risk? I'll do 1000 Okay. Here's the clue in the 1950s. In April 1955, for the first time in 33 years of publication, Reader's Digest carried these. What are advertisements? That's correct. I have $5,000, and I'll pick the next election in just a little bit. I need to save a video first. Or you know what? I'll do it later. Let's go to the next one. 1950s for 400. The answer is... Occupation of William Howard Mays that put him in the news. What is a baseball player? And 
and I'll take the $500 clue from the 1950s. The answer is... This industrialist sold RKO pictures to General Tire in July 1955. Who was Howard Hughes? Yes. 5,900 now. I'll take uh, the Seven Wonders for 100. The answer is... Dr. Livingstone named these African Falls one of the seven natural wonders of the world for his queen. Uh, what are Victoria Falls? Seven Wonders for 200. The answer is... The ancient wonder of Olympia was a gold and silver statue of this king of the gods. Oh, and Rob locked me out. Zeus. Yep, I knew that one. Books for a hundred. The answer is... His books, Shogun, Whirlwind, Taipan, and Noble House, have all inspired board games. Rob. <laughs> it's James Clavel. That is correct. James Clavel. I don't know how you say it, but it's, either way, it's right. Books for 200. The answer is... This 1895 novel, subtitled An, American, An Episode of the American Civil War, was written by a 22-year-old. What is the Red Badge of Courage? Alright, books for 300. The answer is... Elliot Roosevelt writes mystery novels which features this historical figure as a detective. Rob. And he's back to not knowing, so he's making a pika rupa of himself. Do you know this one? Eleanor Roosevelt, okay. Okay. Books for 400. The answer is... Richard Adams' novel, Traveler, is a tale of the Civil War seen through the eyes of this man's horse. Oh, I thought I knew this one, but I guess I don't. Robert E. Lee, yeah, that was my guess. But that's okay. Moving on. Books for 500. The answer is... A nightmare gave Mary Shelley the idea for this novel. What is Frankenstein? Seven Wonders for 300. The answer is... It's 90 miles from the last remaining ancient wonder. This waterway is one of the seven modern wonders. Oh, and Rob locked me out. The Suez Canal, and that was my guess. Four hundred. The answer is... The Hanging Gardens of Babylon hung in what's now this country. Rob. Iraq. Yep. Now the last clue. The answer is... Mexico's Paracutin, the youngest of these in the Western Hemisphere, is also the newest of the natural wonders. And Rob is back to not knowing so he'll lose all his money. Let's see if Sue knows this one. Nope, she doesn't know either. So she'll go down to minus. So she'll just go down to 200, not minus. I'm gonna stay at 6,700 because I don't know. It's a volcano. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm at 6,700, Sue 200, Rob zippity doo -dah. so he'll start first. Here are the categories.
categories are celebrity sayings, rituals, alphabet soup, animal adjectives, musicals, and finally, fine china. Here we go. Okay? Alphabet soup for 200. The answer is. This candy, introduced in the U.S. in 1940, was available in London for the first time in 1988. What are M&M's? Alphabet Super 200. Oh, by the way, Jay, if you're still there, I have $6,900. Yay, 69. Yep. Oh, that was Alphabet Super for 400. The answer is. William Paley established this company in 1928. What is uh, CBS? Yep. Alphabet Soup for 600? The answer is... Despite what the three letters stand for, this Ford model has been around for over 20 years. Despite what the three letters stand for, this Ford model has been around for over 20 years. What is the I don't know. What is the model T? I I don't I don't know. Oh, the L T D, that's right. Okay. So Sue goes up to 800, and we continue. Animal adjectives, 200. The answer is... When something smells suspicious, what is fishy? And that'll take me back up to $6,900. Animal adjectives, 400. Daily double. And I'm going to bet it all. Something shabby, as though gnawed by rodents. What is ratty? I have thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Animal of six hundred. The answer is when what you might feel after spilling wine all over your hostess's lamb chops, and Rob locks me out. Sheepish, and that is correct. So he's got some money once again. Animal of eight hundred. The answer is stubborn. What is mulish? Animal X says thousand. The answer is Earth sign synonym for surly. What is bearish? Yes. Let me have an alphabet soup for eight hundred. The answer is. The first person singular pronoun in the nominative nominative case. And Rob locks me out. It's I, and that is correct. Rituals for 200. The answer is... You do it before blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. What is make a wish? Rituals for 400. The answer is... Sometimes held in secret, it gets you into a fraternity or a cult. What is an initiation? Uh, rituals for 600. The answer is... The Cha no Yu as performed by Japanese women. Suit. And she doesn't know. So she'll drop down to two hundred dollars. The tea ceremony, that's correct.
Fine China 200. The answer is... Though Delphware was first produced in this country, it's also made in England. And Sue locks me out. Netherlands, uh-huh. Okay. Alphabet soup for a thousand. The answer is... Three-letter abbreviation of the Latin phrase meaning which was to be demonstrated. What was... ETC? No. Let's see if Sue knows this. QED. Oh, okay. Next selection. Celebrity sayings for 200. The answer is... She accepted her Oscar for Best Actress, shouting, You like me! You like me! Who is Sally Field? I'll have celebrity sayings for 400. The answer is... 1936 symbol who said, It's not the men in my life that count, it's the life of my men. Who is Mae West? I'll take, um, celebrity sayings for 600. The answer is... Romantic Idol who said, This king stuff is pure bull. I'm just a lucky slob from Ohio. Who is Clark Gable? Alright, uh, celebrity sayings for 800. The answer is... This short thespian complained, I was a 14-year-old boy for 30 years. Who is Mickey Rooney? Somebody sings for a thousand. The answer is... Golf is a good walk spoiled, said this author of Huckleberry Finn. Uh, who is Mark Twain? The answer is... Throughout the Pacific, this toe singeing ritual is held when the Thai plant ripens. Soup. What is walking on fire? That is correct. Next election. Rituals for a thousand. The answer is... Since 1903, members of this New York City club have gone swimming in the icy Atlantic. What are the polar bears? Correct. Hold on a second here, folks. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take a brief break, so that way I can transfer the videos. When we come back, we'll finish up this game. And who just opened a drink? Jay, what do you have? The trademark of the Meissen porcelain factory is two of these weapons, crossed. What are swords? Where are your manners? Let me see. Fine China 600. If you're saying, I'm going to be your saying, I'll be the dentist who will put it in your sewer. Oh, why me? Uh, the epic I have 19,600. How much do I want to put at risk? Uh, 5,400. So give me $25,000 if I answer correctly on this clue. In 1757, the service china factory named a new collar, not a hairstyle, for this mistress of Louis XV. Who is Madame Pompadour? <laughs> yes. 25 grand. Fine china, 800. First name shared by the great 18th century potter Spode and Wedgwood. Oh, I think I just figured it out, but does Rob know? 
Yeah, Josiah, that was my guess. Go again. Musicals for 200. The answer is... It opens with Tapia touting tradition. What is uh, Fiddler on the Roof? I'll have a uh, musical for 400. The answer is... John Van Druten's I Am a Camera developed into this musical picture of pre-war Germany. What is the producer's? What? Oh, I think I just figured it out. China for a thousand. The answer is English County famed for its colorful figurines and muscular terriers. I think I know, but I'm gonna give this one to Sue. She doesn't know. I'll try it. What is Staffordshire? Correct. I'll take musicals for six. The answer is... George M. Cohen played this president in I'd Rather Be Right. Sue. It was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Correct. Musicals for 800. The answer is... A Pulitzer Prize winning book by James Missioner became this Pulitzer Prize winning show. South Pacific is correct. Now the last clip. The answer is... Gene Kelly originally played this title cat who bewitched, bothered, and bewildered the ladies. It was Pal Joey. Correct. End of the double jeopardy round. Rob is 3800 Sue 3000 and me $25,800. Final jeopardy category is world history. How much do I want to put at risk? I like to go for just 4,201. Ready yet? Now let's just do 4,200. In 1804, this Caribbean country became the first black nation to gain freedom from rule under European European colony rule, and it's Haiti. So that'll get me up to $30,000. European colonial rule. Sue's betting all in. Final Jeopardy answer is... It's Haiti. So I get to keep my run going. I have $80,801 in four games. Let's see how Sue and Rob did. Sue got it right. Did Rob come up with Haiti? Yep. As did I, so I had 4,200, taking me to $30,000, and once again in four games, I've won $80,801. And we'll be back for a fifth game and our next video coming soon.